What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Sneaker History Podcast. We have a very special episode today. We're chilling here with my friend Ro. You might know her as Eat Like You're on Death Row, which is one of the best freaking Instagram names of all time. The straight, it's, it's, it's memorable. It's just long enough. You don't have to put numbers behind it. Sick ass name for a sick person. How are you doing today? I'm good, Anna. It's long enough. Yeah, right. I mean, it's 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 that happy area, but it's just so memorable. It's just like, yeah, oh. they actually tried to like it, it got hacked like probably like 20, 50 times already. So, I mean, but I just keep on trying to change my password. I've been hacked a couple times. People love it's it's crazy how many hacking there are on Instagram. This is going to hack right? people's eardrums cuz this is going to be a great episode. They're going to get their ears fed some great information cuz you do some great stuff with food. Obviously you're into sneakers, but what's the coolest thing about your work is that like you actually like know the fucking shoes and you have skills and you mix like your skills and the shoes together to make beautiful art and that's fantastic. Thank you. It's fantastic. You're very welcome. So let's just hear a little bit about you. I mean, your your, your profile on Instagram says you're a Filipina in Cali. What what kind of stuff? Like, what's something about you? What's something that uh, interests you outside of shoes? Like, wh- how can we get to know you a little better? Okay. Well, I moved here when I was like twenty something. Immigrated from Philippines, and then like. Um, I got I married and then divorced and then I had kids and then like with my son, my my IG actually started with my son's having food allergies. So, I mean, I started with bento and then started creating like art and food for his food because he can eat at school. So basically what I did is like I made the lunch and stuff and then some of my followers started like asking like, do you ever make anything that is like, like shoes or something so i was just thinking okay so if you remember the nike dunk waffle so that one came out and i kind of like okay this one is not that bad to make i guess so i made it with a waffle and actually like created it like waffle waffles and that one actually got viral that's when dunks weren't even like that was pre that was way before like that had the the syrup on it yeah those were like 2016 Mm -hmm. maybe even a little earlier about then yeah so that one actually like the game reposted it like all the other like feature pages but when he reposted it it actually got like he mentioned um roscoe's yeah chicken waffles that's <laughs> so la like, it's 101 yeah so i'm not even like it's me it's mine but i mean like you can't really say anything at that time because there's no tag yeah. and everything so after that i mean it just blew up and then i was thinking all right something is coming like i could probably do this and like get it's kind of like you know there's when you get mm-hmm. hype so you just go and like start making it so i just started making like jordans and stuff and jordans actually is just started like getting mainstream too at that time not Mr. Mainstream. No, it, you have, and that's what's really cool. So you started out with a dunk, but you do Yeezy stuff. You did some stuff with um, ES skateboarding. Like you, you will go all over. It's not just like. Yeah, I actually like making ones that I actually like mm-hmm. when I see it. And like if, if it interests me and like the colors and like how it shows like on a picture and everything. So I just kind of like make it. I even like make stuff for my friends and everything. So, I mean, if you can go scroll down, I even made like, like personal custom No, you've ones. made a lot of sick shit. And like you wear the shoes too. So that's, what's really cool. Like so many people. That's just like recent, not recently, but I mean, when I started well, getting the shoes and everything. They're so hard to I mean, get. Yeah. I mean, your work has gotten you to a point where. You can get the shoes. I mean, you. I always see you shout out skate, like, you know, skate shops are taking care, not in like they're taking care of you all the way, but like they know what you're doing. Like people know your work. Yeah. And it's dope to yeah. see a girl out here, like really about the fucking shoes. And it's so cool. So like props to you. Um, what's your favorite pair to wear? I see you in like every, every dunk. Like what's your favorite pair right now? Not of all time, um, but like, what do you like to wear now? Nah, I don't have any all time one, but whatever is just like, for some reason, I always go to like mm-hmm. my strange loves. It's just something that is, it's always right next to the door. So, I mean, I just 
slip it in and go. I mean, I just never really like go go to my my style or yeah. like my not collection but whatever it's like i see something but it's just like it's something that is always like in the garage and like because mm-hmm. i got kids i can't just like think think too hard on what the fuck i'm gonna wear so whatever it's like i see and then i just go i even right now today i'm not gonna go like lie i'm wearing the Duh. i mean i wear that that's so you just really described yourself as a real sneakerhead. You got shoes up in the closet, but you don't have time to take them out. You have one pair by the door you wear all the time. But I'm not really like but a sneaker sneakerhead, though. I, you I don't, just did, I don't, though. In a good, I, I mean this in like, a positive way. Like yeah. You have all the same problems. Yeah. Like, I'd rather wear my Crocs yeah. and my one pair of Dunks than all the shoes I have back there. <laughs> it's just that, I mean, sometimes you kind of like go which one is like you see first and it's like you just basically like it's one of my favorite actually because it's so it's soft. soft it's i don't usually like i mean soft they're ones, sick but. i mean so dr strange love dunks they have the little like heart on the back they're kind of pink velvety for our listeners i mean that's like a thousand dollar shoe like that's a shoe people really really like and it's funny that you said you like the material how they're soft and i think people don't wear shoes enough like I think I think very few people would say that she was soft in a good way because they haven't ever put them on. They're in a closet or they're online. They're not actually enjoying yeah. the shoes. But that's my thing, though. If like I really like something, mm-hmm. I wear it. Like I, I mean, it's not because like oh, because it's mm-hmm. expensive. But that's the real price of it. But if like you actually like like it, then you can just go and wear it because you don't see it. You don't see the. Oh. monetary value of it you see it more on like the design or like how it actually like exactly like, and like, like it, do you actually. kind of appreciate shoes in a different way because you have to create on a plate so they have to create on a shoe like it's like do you see stuff or it's like oh that's really cool maybe i'll do something like that or i like those colors together do you ever like get inspired personally like i kind of like go over excuse like um there's like colors now i'm more like i still value what i make with my mm-hmm. personal like likes but then i still i kind of like tend to like value what mm-hmm. my followers like so i kind of like put them together and which one gonna create like a buzz or like what they gonna go and like because sometimes if i make something and they kind of like oh i don't even know that one and then like i have to like explain it and stuff like that but i mean it's okay because that means that it's they're mm-hmm. actually like curious on what it is but i'm like i really like when it, there's like details that i could actually like use like yes. some seeds to make the details pop or like those um I forgot what they are. They kind of like um, mushrooms, Ooh. but like I know what you're ones. talking about. I use them for for. Okay, the, um, see, I'm black trying cement. to find a picture of the black spence really quick through in here. But I mean, so just to speak <laughs> about like textures and things, like using sesame seeds is the same way a shoe designer would put like speckles or dots on a shoe, and that's so sick. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. What's one of your favorite foods to like work with, like? Is, is meat easier? Is like or is cheese vegetable? What's what's like your favorite one? Well, I started with basically like sushi from bento, like, yeah. I construct bento to sushi. sushi. So I mean, just base, just the sashimi, and then like um, mm-hmm. just smoked salmon. Yeah, I got you. Salmon, salmon. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. <laughs> I always get like corrected on that one. But yeah, like um, salmon. Um, what else? Um, see, now I'm getting some. But lately, I've been using mochi. And I have, like, one thing that I want to go to, actually. So mochi is actually easier to mold. So, like, if something mm-hmm. is, like, if you see seen yeah. my Murakami, the flower one, that one is a, a perfect example of, like, using the mochi to basically, like, mold it on how it really is. And it actually, like, it's so colorful. Because they're easier to, like, put the, like, the coloring on it because with sushi you have to like create with like the exact colors and it's food food so you have to like figure out what kind of food to use like which yeah. one did i oh the honey yeah they have to see that um that i made 
See, so that one is actually smoked salmon. It's funny. Just it's funny you say mochi is actually easier to work with because I see some of these shoes and I'm like, that's not easy to make. Like the J Balvin Jordan One, you made it out of a Filipino dessert. It's like a rainbow shoe. Um, yeah. Uh, Sopping, sopping. It's sopping, sopping. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's almost kind of like mochi. Actually, it's rice flour, but um, it's almost the same way on how to cook it. It's steam and it's like you just basically just mold it. So it's a, it's basically the same thing as mo- as mochi. But mochi is kind of not like more mainstream. Like people tend to like know mm-hmm. they don't know more of the Filipino. But I try to incorporate my culture and my like my food just so they know that. The artist is like a Filipino. Well, so it sounds like you know the game. You know that like what your followers want is going to help you get further. Like you have to do what's for you, but you also have to do stuff for them. You have yeah. to you have to mix them back and forth. You have to because the thing is right now with social media, it's so different. Like a couple of years ago when IG was just starting, changed a lot. No, it just yeah the social media part is just because i mean you have now you could actually monetize on it and it's not like i'm trying to like deviate from what i'm what i like doing i love doing it but then it's just give you the opportunity to like make money out mm-hmm. of it which is not bad because most in social media are actually like into that stuff it still. feels like sometimes instagram tries to keep you down unless you're like trying to sell something so it's like you yeah. do great work and you can you can spend so much time on a piece. But then like if mm-hmm. Instagram doesn't want it to go off, it like it just it mm-hmm. doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> it's different now because of the algorithm is like They're like because they're trying to like go with the reels now video. But I mean, mine is so hard to like if I like film mine, mm-hmm. it will take like a lot of times because sometimes I made mistakes so I have to like redo it and shit so I mean yeah, how many times I have to go and film it so sometimes I, if it's easy then that's when I go do the time lapse well, but time lapse is just like what 15 seconds so I can't even go to like reels because reels is like a long time it's super hard and like I was curious how long does it take like not all of them are the same but can it take you like five yeah, hours three hours average no oh no the sushi i mean any of them like no like no no okay so the mochi will like with prep and stuff it will take at least like an oh, hour it's not long at all it's long Less. but no yeah because i mean it's okay so if you go and steam much mochi it's kind of like i'll mean it okay nuke it it's not it's not like i cook it cook it i just basically just nuke it yeah. i put it on my microwave. so i mean it's mochi is kind of like an hour, less than an hour. And then um, the sushi, if I use plain salmon or like tuna, mm-hmm. that's not that bad to me because you just go um, like cut it and stuff like that. So it's not like an hour. So some things aren't bad. Less than an hour. Like the, the Foot Locker one you did with the cheese, the Air Max 97 cheese um, with the plate. <laughs> that one is so good. That was a great yeah. shoe though because I saw you did a reel for it. You did a little video and that's like yeah. the perfect kind like – it's you, you're molding, you're cutting. People can really. Yeah. I enjoyed it, but like, no, okay. that's a great one. Yeah, that one is not that because it's a whole ass like cheese. Yeah, it's a brick. Like you know the one. <laughs> it's like the whole fucking block. Yeah. So I mean, it's not that hard to like cut it because I mean, it's a, it's hard. The whole shoot itself is basically one color. So I mean, it's not hard for me to like. It just actually is. Eye and, and hand coordination, which is sometimes I, my eyes are like fucking blurred already. So I mean, it's kind of hard. But I mean, I still can get all the details and everything. But as long as it's like one color and like there's not a lot of details, mm-hmm. so it's easy to like just eyeball it. Most of the stuff that I do are basically eyeball. Like I don't have any any like stencil like template yeah. or <laughs> yeah. I mean that's I can't because then I get messed up anyways. That's even more impressive. You need to give yourself more credit because I can try to draw a shoe and my fucking shoe looks like I wear shoes every day, but I still can't draw a shoe properly. I don't think I could cut a shoe out of cheese properly either. So that's a little bit harder. I'll teach you. It's easy. You just need the right fucking sharp knife. Okay. Just as long as sharp. It's not that bad. I mean, the silhouette of that Air Max is actually not that. It's it's almost kind of like common. 
like with any other shoe. So it's just 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 a little. Do you touch. use do you Snack use that. like cooking knives or do you use like an exacto knife like art art supplies or cooking supplies? Oh, um, well, I improvise whatever like I have in my kitchen. Okay. So I mean, I'm not like I'm not. I'm adult, but like I'm not adult with what I I that I need to be perfect with like like mm-hmm. a chef chef. Do you yeah. know what I'm trying to say? I have I have like Japanese the bento shit, and then I have like knives and stuff. But I mean, whatever is like in my in my kitchen that I could use to actually like cut or like go slice mm-hmm. whatever. So I just use it. I even use tweezer. I mean. I no, I don't use it for myself. I mean, I have like it on the kitchen, but I mean, I, whatever is like is easier for me to like use. I don't have any specific. I don't. I don't. I'm not like too professional actually. <laughs> it's cool that you can use anything you have around you. It's not like you have to have. And this just shows to anybody if you if you have the, if you want to put the time in and you want to take the time to work on it, you don't have to have the fanciest knives or all this stuff. Yeah. Just yeah, that's go do true. it, you know, get it done. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just use whatever is like available at that time that you can go and create what you like. So you brought up the art, some art stuff, because you do shoes, obviously, all the time. But you have some really cool, like a Supreme Bear made out of like, was it meatballs and pasta. Yeah. What's, what's the shirt no, made out of? It's like a Supreme sweatshirt, but it's a Parmesan? It's a fucking ham. It's a dollar <laughs> That's so funny and it looks so cute. No, so, I know. I want that fucking bear so bad that it's sold out. So I just fuck it. Let me just go and make it without it. So I I found like this bear like at a thrift mm-hmm. store and people actually think that it was it was real. So. That's just how good it is. It's you got two thousand <laughs> likes with it. I mean it looks so so you have that one and then you have a, a cause stormtrooper. Like the stormtrooper head with the with the X eyes. The yeah. X one, yeah. That one is so good. That one was like actually the first, if I'm not mistaken, the first contemporary one that I did. If I'm not yeah. Cause I think it was gonna be like um mm-hmm. May fourth. Star Wars, may the fourth be oh. with you. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh shit, let me go and make this. Cause sometimes I do that. Like if there's a, like a particular like date or mm-hmm. like an occasion and I know it's going to create like a buzz or something like my, my followers. I know some of my followers are like, I have been, I have been Star Wars or like um, other yeah. anime or whatever, or like Supreme and stuff. So I kind of like, sometimes I tend to like, not foresee, but like yeah. check what's going to pop. So that one actually, it was like, oh, it's not that bad to make because his head is not easy. Like, it's so easy to make. It's rice balls. I think you saw there's a real mm-hmm. on how to make it. Yeah, it's just rice but balls. But it looks so yeah. de- like, and that's what's funny is like, you make the food and the shoes, like, it, it's a good looking shoe. Like, you did a good job making it, but it's a good looking plate of food. Like, I would eat the shrimp and the mushroom and the noodle. Like, it looks. Some I bet, right? No, animal, and <laughs> that's just funny. Like, I want to eat it, but I don't think I can. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what they say. Like, it's too pretty to even eat it. So, I mean, you can't. It's edible, but it's not like because some of them I use a lot of like. Yeah, coffee, right. So, I mean, your mouth <laughs> might make you sick. Red, like. <laughs> so you do like BMWs and stuff too. You, you know, you remember the cars? It looks like you're doing it with like swordfish or something or um, salmon cars. It's a Honda CRX. Yeah, those are so good. Um, they're they're salmon? The salmon. So, so salmon. I mean, do you yeah. do your fans? All, did you know that they like cars too? And like, you just want to do something about cars? Yeah, well, some of my followers are actually like car enthusiasts. Like, they love Fast and the Furious type of Japanese cars and stuff. So, I mean, I was just thinking about it. I, I my first car was actually Honda Hatchback, and I was trying to like, I'm probably gonna go do it one of these days. But that was my first car here. I got it for like 2K. It's probably the same price as my <laughs> strange ones. That's what's crazy about shoes. Like an old car could be the same price. Right? You should do a Fast and Furious one yeah. and do Vin Diesel, but have it be like a, a melon or something. <laughs> I don't know. Something for a round head. <laughs> I actually did um, not f- Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. Yeah. And Pacquiao. The Pac-Man. Yeah. He's been, he's been yeah. training again, too, yeah. Manny Pacquiao. 
Right. So we'll have to see about I that. I so, I mean, like the last shoe I'm curious here, it's one of your new ones too. You did it about a month ago. It's the Yeezy Foam Runner. You have a piece of asparagus mm -hmm. with some fish there. Uh, what's what's yeah. the shoe made out of? What's the Foam Runner made out of? Is it right? It's mashed potato. potato. So that's one that's like inedible, right? You put coloring all over it. Yes. That oh, one you can, can actually eat because I use like, yeah. It's basically, it's not a lot of food coloring, but I mean, you could eat it. No, it looks, it. it looks just, I mean, like all of your work, it looks just like the shoe. It's crazy. Do you like wearing the Yeezy? Do you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of people are going to hate me, but I mean, there's really something soft. Anything, I like anything that is soft on my feet, but I mean. It's an easy mom shoe. You have to go to the school or something. Just throw a, the foam runner on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And everybody in the school is going to be jealous of you because you have them. So it's like you, <laughs> yeah. you get to win both ways. Um, yeah. Let me see here. I don't want to go through all of your work too much. So, I mean, you kind of broke down a bit what brought you. It was your kids. It was allergies, right? And you needed to make yeah. specific lunches, which kind of started getting you going that way. Um, so what kind of what kind of advice do you have for people who want to try something different because you just said, I'm going to try this. Like, were you afraid to, to kind of put this online at first or they, were you? No, I really didn't, didn't, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Good. A okay. So this is my thing about like how it's, it, it's good that other people might hear it. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, like, I never really give a fuck on what I post mm -hmm. from the beginning. So that's why this is my third account. I deleted the first two because of what I posted. Because um, my first account, I used to, like, do food based stuff. Like, you know how they created that stuff? Like, you have to create something out of, like, fish. And yeah. stuff. So I did, like, fish tacos. And then I made the chicken nugget pizza. <laughs> So those are the first one. And then I just like mix it with the dick musubi. Mm -hmm. And then the, I know, I don't know if like I could say it here. No, you <laughs> can. Those are like, yeah. So those are basically what I did the past accounts. And that's when I actually get flagged and then reported. And like my last two accounts got like deleted. So basically still, I still don't give a fuck because the thing is, as long as you like what you're doing, you shouldn't like, you shouldn't yeah. be scared like what people gonna say, even if like they criticize it, even if they say, oh, that look like shit and whatever. I just don't give a shit. Like I just post it. But I mean, if like they don't like it, I mean, who cares? Like uh, there's other people that gonna like what mm -hmm. you do. There's other, like a lot of people that not, not gonna like you just simply because of what you're making. But the thing is, at the end of the day, if it's something that you really want to do and there's other people that see it and then they say, oh, this is so cool. Let me go and copy it. But before it's kind of like, it's hard to like say, no, you can't copy my mm -hmm. shit. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's out there. So, I mean, it's better to just inspire other people to like do what you do instead of like, you get mad at them. That's that is great advice because I think so many people online do stuff for other people. They post cuz you know, somebody else wants to see this part of them. But if you if you have the I don't care attitude like you're always able to go to bed and like not worry about like No, I used to get stressed out. Yeah. <laughs> I used to get stressed out because I get like 500 emails or like not emails but like comments and shit like talking shit about what I post and like you can't post that because it's not like IG, Ap IG material or like you can't like, yeah. But I mean, as long as I can make somebody happy with what I make and it makes me happy that they like what I make. So that's what matters. It's, it's, it's basically so like for other people, like they need to like do what they feel like if they see something, just go mm -hmm. and copy it and then just go see if like you can do it better. I mean, right now it's so much like you can say you can copy it, but at the end of the day, like someone's going I mean, to anyway, whether you want them to or not. Some, yeah. And like, I mean, the end the pandemic was you just have to like, OK, some people might want to make money out mm -hmm. of it, too. So. Might as well just go and like let them mm -hmm. have it. 
I just I used to get so stressed out, like people copying my shit. But I mean, I don't yeah. care anymore. <laughs> Because I know I'm like, I'm the first one. That you really it, are. So. And what's so funny about how like being banned, it's like, I think a dick Mashubi is funny. So, but it's, some people don't. And then that's what's, that's what's the internet's difficult sometimes. Cause like, do you know that there's like the banana that has like the yeah. duct tape one that was on the wall and it got so like copied, like everybody mm-hmm. copied it, like with all their other materials and like stuff. So I did it with the Musubi with my dick and like I got reprimanded That's, for it. I mean, it, it's <laughs> cause I mean, if I was just thinking, right, like if I put that on the same wall, mine will fetch me more. <laughs> it will. <laughs> but but right? I mean, that's so frustrating. Cause you see people, oh, yeah. you know, hate having hate speech and being really mean on the internet, but you post a photo that's funny and artistic and it's like, oh my God, like the worst thing ever. It's like, well, no, it's not. It's it just because of like, I don't think it's, it's because it's some of the people that are, were new on IG are more like on not saying they're prude or mm-hmm. like more religious and they have this behavior and like, um, how, what do you call it? Like the one that you actually like belief yeah so it's kind of hard for them to like be open-minded on something that is like just be curious about it and just be happy that somebody else is like doing something but i mean some people are kind of like narrow-minded so very and you can really like please everybody it's an open us social here media sneaker history we are very into if it makes you happy just do it like if, it, if you're not bothering anybody just yeah that's happy. why I think I'm more on like on the artist side instead of like being like even if like you say I'm an influencer or like like a sneakerhead. I'm more of an mm-hmm. artist because I ha- I tend to be more like don't give a fuck attitude and like I care. Well, you can you can take more. You're you are an artist. You you post more risky things. You can be more risky. You're an artist. It's all art, yeah. in my opinion. It's not like. You're right. In sneakers, you have to be very, for the most part, a very same way. I feel like especially for like showing shoes, it's always the same pose. It's always the same background. It's always the same (laughs) shoes in the back. So it's like if you do something different, you're going to rub some things the wrong way. If you do it, if you do you, you know, row doing you, you do you. Well, that's all really good advice, man. I mean, I'm super happy you were able to. (laughs) You did not cuss a lot. I curse. I mean, it's hard not to curse. That's the biggest thing, especially just thinking about people who don't like people that cuss. It's like everybody cusses now. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> like Garvey, what he said. Right? <laughs> yes. It's just like, it's the way people talk in 2020. Like the F word is a part of any sentence. Yeah. Right. Should it's be just like parsley. Sentence. You just go and just like sprinkle it to everything it makes it more like alive it really does it spices up the word just like your work is spicing up sneakers with food ro i super appreciate you being here let me give everybody your instagram so they know where to find yes. you and- so it's it's eat like you're on death row underscore but if you start typing in eat like you're on death row and there's you'll two find underscore right just to make sure at the okay. end, yeah, there's two. Yeah, yeah because, at the end. So, because I add two every time I get deleted. So, I mean, I was scared <laughs> that it's gonna go up to like ten, like underscore. But good thing that this one actually stayed. So, I now know your tricks because <laughs> if I see it really long, I'm like, I know, I know what you're doing over there. You keep messing up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually but, made like a personal one. So, that's for the other people. That that's yeah. for you though. <laughs> But real, I super appreciate you. Like the IG one, because I'm trying to like go back to like the Timosobi, but I'm just going to go put it back right there. Not Mm -hmm. on this one, not on the the, the main account that I'm using. No, it makes total sense. You got to mix it up sometimes, but I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hope we see each other like in person. I hope so too. Because if it's not going to close down. I hope it does, and I hope to get down there and see you soon. But thank you, everybody, for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day. Bye.